Yes, people, this is Eagle Eyed Nate here for Eagle Eyed Football. Reacting to Crystal Palace 3, Everton 1. And oh my god, what a massive three points that is. Obviously, the last four weeks, it's not been an awful lot to write home about. We've been kind of poor, kind of unlucky, but mostly poor, um, especially going forward. But today, from minute one, we were on them. And you'd swear to God, we were the team that had won um, in the previous round of the league, as opposed to them. They'd obviously got a big last-minute winner over Arsenal, which had me thinking they were going to come into this game very confident. But um, no, I, I literally think Vieira said, listen, you've got every opportunity to go out there today and absolutely put in a hell of a shift and get yourself the three points that we so richly deserved. And look, you could sense from minute one that we were on them. We just wanted it more than them, and everyone played well. I mean, I can't really say anybody had a really bad game. Well, Joel Ward probably didn't cover himself in glory, to be fair, but um, he's that kind of player, really. You know, he's been such a good servant over the years that I think we're willing to give him that kind of. Uh, you know, it's Wardy. He's not. He's he's never been. He's never been ten out of ten. Amazing, world class. He's just been a player that fills the gap when we need it. And um, he's Mr. Reliable, but yeah, <laughs> he got the run around today and um, it showed big time. But um, the one thing that's important about this win is that it takes the monkey off our back. It proves that Vieira isn't washed. He's not this, he's not that. It was just a bad run of form that we just got caught at the wrong time. Injuries have had a bit of an impact, but we can't really use that as an excuse too much because let's be fair the players that are playing should be taking that advantage if they're not in the first team every week i.e james tonkins and now will hughes who both had exceptional games today will hughes bossed that midfield and for me he was our man of the match i know that conor gallagher got a brace but he got that brace because will hughes gave him the license to cause absolute havoc in their midfield and especially at the back um just fantastic from start to finish can't fault anyone for what was a very badly needed three points going into our next two fixtures of southampton at home on wednesday and watford away on saturday um yeah look again i want to be able to cuss out jordan Ayew and say he was crap that was one of his best performances in god knows how long he's been playing really well of late but today, you could see that he he wanted more than anything to either get himself on the score sheet or just get the, these three points. And that's exactly what we did. And we richly deserved it. Um, big up to Rich and Jordan who were there. That was clearly a hell of an atmosphere. Well done to the HF for 16 years as an outfit. They've been fantastic in getting the club to where we are today. Um, they played a big part, obviously, in 2010. And they're still here now in 2021. So big up to them. Um, but if I'm an Everton fan, I don't know what Rafa Benitez is doing there because they were just awful, man. Like Andros Townsend, you, you'd swear he still played for us. It was just horrible. I feel for the Everton fans because you should be doing better. With all due respect, I know, I know, we're, I know I'm a Palace fan and I love that we won, but they would have come into this more confident than we would. And you'd have sworn they were the team that had lost three in a row. That's not good enough for them. But look, I'm absolutely over the moon. We've won. That's a massive three points going into the next two fixtures before um, before Christmas. And um, whew, whew, big win. Big win. And Conor Gallagher, sign the ting. Conor Gallagher, sign the ting. Conor Gallagher, sign the stupid ting. Just sign it, okay? Don't worry about Chelsea. They don't need you over there. Don't, don't, don't. Don't go back there and sit on the bench and wonder what could have been. Just just, just stay where you're loved, mate. You're one of us, all right? Stay where you're loved. But now, listen, big up to everyone who's been showing us love on the channel. Um, not sure when the next Talking Ish is coming, but we're going to do it Talking Ish soon. Make sure you stick around for the other videos on the channel coming up. Only one thing left to say, up the palace. Stay subscribed to Eagle Eyed Football for more content, and thanks for watching. Take care.